Here we go. On the left hand side is a video recording of our presentation including 3D in music. 3D in music. Many people think of composing as having only to do with music. Composing can mean any activity, putting things together in an arrangement pleasing to our senses in the physical world. And on the right hand side, we are live in the 3D world where we gave that presentation. And this is our booth where we use the piano kits that you have heard so many times in this series. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 49, Prepare, Listen, and Wrap. In this episode, which lasted 10 days, elapsed time, we did a lot. We did a lot. Uh, but the bottom line and the key uh, reflection is how we compose in music has influenced how we work in the metaverse. And by metaverse, we include what you see on the right-hand side. And how we work in the metaverse has influenced how we compose in music. In one of our earliest series, we talked about having taken a class on Marshall McLuhan in the metaverse and expanded our thinking of uh, musical melody and harmony from going horizontally to vertically and having two by two dimensions. So uh, we spent a lot of time finalizing our slides for that YouTube presentation that you just saw. In addition, we also gave a presentation on privacy in the metaverse, and we had to spend time on that uh, to the European Law Student Association, and we had to completely revamp this presentation for the different audience. What is privacy in the metaverse, etc. And a pleasing thing about all this is that in our booth, which focused on hybrid tech, which we're, we had to completely redo that one as well, uh, which included the example of 3D and music, we included mention of our having given this talk right here on uh, annual human rights campaign. And you can see that we actually used on the left-hand side these uh, Virtual World Explorer Club logos and added them in here as well. So we're cross blending our work in the real world, which is like giving talks about the metaverse or about the concepts of combining multiple tools to meet your needs and our presentations in the virtual worlds. Yes, what else did we do? Well, so we completed the ELSA, European Law Student Association, we completed the preparation for the hybrid tech. Um, we also finished our louder than a sound um, composition, uh, which was using this soundtrack up here. With a poem and I, uh, we already showed that and posted that and shared that and they liked it. Uh, and then, and now we're repurposing this sound, which was done by Sonatus, for a new video uh, on the uh, actual presentation to the law students. And we'll show you. We'll just show you the opening of that, and that should bring us bring us home here. So, you know, and yeah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, students, faculty, and associates. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about what we've done is we just did a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, what else can you say? Um, and like we said, we crisscrossed between the two worlds of uh, real world physical presentations, which you can count in Zoom as. We've started to learn and up our Zoom skills and our metaverse uh, experience and skills. 
Our ideas for next time are to continue. We're putting a workshop together this Friday on Zoom, but in the metaverse. Again, another combination. Uh, we want to finish up this video edit that you just saw part of. We're using dual cameras um, because reasons, and that's kind of a trip. We, we were showing this. The normal cam we use down here is our keyboard cam, and then the new cam is the screen cam, and you can run both. Who knew? So we're kind of finding that an interesting um, multi-dimensional thinking trip. We also want to make a symbolic model for something called the social brain in the metaverse, which we'll be doing over in this environment here. We'll be making 3D models again. Just like, just like these are 3D models that you can look all the way around, um, we'll be making a 3D model to represent the social brain in the metaverse. So shout outs to Mr. Spatz who came by, Miss Cleo to kept us inspired, and Silent Lurker, you create the space for us to create into. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.